Hi yo yo, Leafide here. I'm just making a quick video update about my ice type, I mean red line, my standard chili. Mainly because I was sitting here on untap, waiting for someone to test the red line with me, but no one has come in for quite a few minutes. So I'm like, okay, never mind, I will cancel this testing and just make a video about it. So let's really quickly take out all the red lines. There we go. These are all the same cards, except that some of them have changes. This include Mira and Shelly. Let's start with Mira. So basically, um, the Soul Charge is mandatory on Mira's skill. Like, not mandatory, but if you use it, you can Soul Charge, and then you can decide if you want to Soul Charge and also do the return up to one card from your hand and you know discard a card because the last time i wrote the skill it forces you to do both you need to soul charge and then you need to return a card which sometimes isn't conventional isn't the thing you want to so i made them separate and you can choose to only do soul charge but you need to soul charge if you like want to do the return up to one card then we have shirley so mainly, um, not having a discard cost on the first skill was a bit too OP, mainly because that made Shelly plus too much. Like you get a plus one even with the drive minus one because you don't need to lose any cards. So I added a discard a card cost instead of the soul plus one to make it a bit more fair and you don't get any plus but you still get to do a drive check which might provide you a critical, a heal, a draw, which will be useful. If you get fronts or over trigger, then you're kind of screwed. <laughs> um, and then I added one more cost to the second skill, effect. It was used to be Soul Blast 2. Now it used Soul Blast 3 instead, because I feel like it's a really good defensive skill. But it's too good that it needs a bit more heavier cost, so I added one more Soul Blast in there. So basically I moved the Soul Blast from the first effect to the second effect, and replaced the Soul Blast from the first effect with this Carter card instead. Okay, and now these are the first few cards of the red line, but there's definitely more cards in it, so let's really get them into play. So first of all we have Alisaiser and she's a G2. Um she has a simple effect of when your one card is set and you have three or less cards similar to Shay's second skill. Um you get to draw a card and so charge one. So it's a really free card free plus one and a so charge. But you need to be on three or less cards and you need to get hit. So you take one damage basically to get these things for free. Then we have Kershita. Kershita is a great one that is mainly a if like guard part. So basically, if your one guard's power is different from its original power, so basically you need to get a trigger or use Shirley's second skill to increase her power, and then you can counter blast one or more cards. You get to Soul Shot two. This is really useful um, for cost returning, and you also get a 10k shield for each counter blast for Kershita. It's a really good defensive card and also a really good cost returner in case you need um, so charge. And then we have Mariana. Mariana is a really solid booster. You get 10k power if one of your attack hits during your opponent's turn and this is an auto so that means every attack that hits you get 10k for Mariana. This is um, guard pressure for the opponent to guard during your special attacks. If they don't guard, you hit heavy on your next attacks during your turn and that's why it's a bit scary. Then last card we have is Lashai. Lashai is a triple R. The first super R for this deck, actually not counting Shirley. And what she can do is, 
um, he can, you know, protect, basically give resist to the unit in front of it. Let's say she's in front of Mira, like, uh, sorry, behind Mira, because Mira has a counter attack skill. You call Lashai at the back, and basically, um, Lashai gives resist and protection from any retired skills until your opponent did one or more attack like more than one attack so two or more attacks so that means Mira will be uh, like you know um fine for a few turns until it's one like the second attack and which makes it good for Mira to not instantly get retired by you know stuff and not get prison by you know prison like so Lasha is one of the really good cards and the second skill is also a really good booster when one of your unit attacks during your opponent's turn instead of heading this one is an attack and you get 5k for each attack so yeah these are two great boosters for the deck and of course you still have you know Eleonora that you call, mostly you call Eleonora behind your one guard or some land that is in a big column so maybe you call it like behind Alisaisa and then you call like Lashai behind Mira to protect Mira and behind Shirley you can have like Mariana so you can increase the power of the column or you can also call Eleonora those works um yeah now let's see what I recommend for the deck. Otherwise, then these, you know, custom cards I made. I recommend Painkiller. Painkiller is a really useful card. You base your blast one, retire this unit, you get to draw a card. Because this deck is already defensive, and getting a plus one after having a boost is always good. So this card is always a go-to for more Skeeter Sanctuary decks. I recommend this card. Um, Osade. I put this only two cards in the deck because sometimes um, you don't get Kershida or Ali Saiso in the deck and your cost runs out. So Forza is a really good card to get some cost back. You get a color charge one and so blast one when you attack hits and it's a hits, doesn't matter if it's not a one guard. So it's a really pressure for the opponent to guard an attack or not if you get cost return and you know definitely you get to be able to use more effort this is more like personality like depends on what you like or because you can use the Kida one or you can use Oberia I use I use Oberia because I feel like this power doesn't have much attack power so if you get to get a lot of attack power I will use Oberia instead of Kida for having more shakes but depends on what you like everything is oh, like what you like of course we also need this new order PG because it's a free PG if you open it it's great for and it also has the benefit to be able to guard some more tricky parts like Loronero which says you cannot call up Sentinel but this one is not a call this one is an order so it's a useful. Of course, we always also use um, you know effect triggers. I also use a font because, like I said, the same with all trigger reason that this power output on attack is a bit low. So having a font could really help on you know the output and also a really good shield because it's a twenty k shield instead of you know a fifteen k shield. And draw triggers are really important in this deck. Um, effect crits are not that important. You can, I mean, it's good that you can get more so, but eventually using a normal crit would be fine too. And yeah, that's it for the update of my red line. Surely we have basically one, two, three, more, a uh, four, four more cards for the right line but having different you know needs different purposes like for 
last shot is for like resisting effects and a booster and Mariana is a really heavy hitter not a hitter a booster really heavy booster if the opponent doesn't guard any of your attacks you basically boost really heavy Alicesa is a costly turner and a last is sword if you really having a sticky situation or not surviving that turn and Kershida is also a really good defensive card to use when you none okay then someone just joined so I think that's it for the video if you enjoyed this video hope make sure to give a subscribe and see you later